What do a can of chickpeas? Chopped nuts and peanut M&Ms have in common. All of those things are ingredients in my new recipe for my personal trail mix. Last summer I made, made trail mix for my through hike of the King's Trail in Sweden and I had almonds, cashews in there, uh, some raisins, a uh, little bit of peanut M&Ms but not enough and I really got tired of it quickly. So I'm playing with some new recipes and I'm going to show you how I make this one today. The first step is going to be to dehydrate a, a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. They have a lot of protein in them and they're a little bit crunchy and that's kind of nice. So let's do the re-dehydrating. I'll see you upstairs in the kitchen. Open the cans of chickpeas and dump them into a colander. Got them out. See all that stuff in there? You don't want that. I'm actually making quite a bit of this. I'm doing a, a month-long section hike of the Appalachian Trail this summer, and I'm preparing some of my food, which includes my favorite trail mix. I dumped out the cans of garbanzo beans or chickpeas in here. I'm just rinsing off all of the gunk that comes with them in the cans. We don't want that. After you've rinsed the garbanzo beans, let them dry a little bit. Spread them out. I'm going to put, put them on a couple trays here. Spread them out kind of evenly. Don't worry, some of them fall to the bottom of the dehydrator. They'll get dry down there too. In fact, while you're drying the garbanzo beans, they'll shrink in size and they'll actually fall through the cracks or between the grates. And so you will find a whole mess of them on the bottom. They'll be fine. My dehydrator says you need to have four trays minimum. One, two, three, four. And so that's what I do. Garbanzo is a bean. That's a vegetable, fruit kind of thing, nuts, seeds. So I put that about 115, 125, something like that. I don't want it to go too fast. And this actually takes several hours. And the way you check these is to take one and bite it. If it's dry, it crunches. If it uh, mushes, it's still wet. So we'll check back with this in a little bit. It's been a couple hours. Let's test these and see if they're done yet. Since they mushed rather than crack, they're not done. All right, it's been about six hours since we started the dehydrator. Let's check them out. Oh, if they're dry, They'll crack. If they're wet, they'll mush. That looked dry. I tried a few of these. Yeah, these are dry. And half of them are going on the floor. So now I have a project to clean up. Yeah, those are dry. Now, I'm not saying that these are tasty. In fact, they're not very much tasty at all. but they do have protein and they add some crunch to the trail mix. Sorry for the delay. Right after I pulled the uh, dehydrated garbanzo beans or chickpeas off of the dehydrator, I got a call from a friend of mine who's visiting from Sweden. He wanted to do a day hike. We did 10 miles today. I mean, he can stay forest about an hour north of where I live. 
Uh, much better being outside in the sun, enjoying the weather. It was almost 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Beautiful day out there. The trails were beautiful. Lots of nice people we got to meet. But I'd rather be there than inside making videos. Though, I had to go without my trail mix because it wasn't ready yet. So, you're going to watch me make it. Here's a bowl. My spoon does not have to have slots in it. That's not important. You can have a solid spoon. I like walnuts and pecans in my trail mix. I also like cashews and almonds. Macadamia, macadamia nuts are good as well, if you can pronounce it. One of my favorite parts is Bobby Sue's Some Like It Hot Nuts. Bobby Sue's has a whole mess of uh, different flavors. This adds a lot of spice to the trail mix, and I like spicy food. You may recognize the dehydrated chickpeas. Some people may say, oh, they don't weigh anything. They do, but they weigh a lot less than two cans of um, undehydrated chickpeas or gabanza beans. Uh, they do have a lot of protein, and that's why I like to include them. And crunchy, I like crunchy. I always use freezer rags. Uh, I like the ones with the pleated bottoms. Lately, I haven't been able to find those, so I just use the regular freezer bags. The pleated ones are with a folded bottom stand up by themselves. So if you're rehydrating food, the bag will help you by standing up by itself. So for trail mix, it's not that important anyway. I also have the secret ingredient that makes the uh, trail mix really good and makes it my favorite. I'll tip the camera down so you can see the, the creation process. You may ask, you may wonder, is it important what sequence, what sequence the different ingredients get added? In all honesty, it doesn't matter. Add some walnuts. Never use your teeth to open anything. Pecans. The Bobby Sue nuts. Now I'm not going to add all of the garbanzo beans. I mentioned before they don't have lots of flavor. They do have lots of crunch. They do have lots of protein. Uh, so I'm going to mix in what I think looks to be an appropriate amount. That's about right. Then uh, I'll use this. I've got it in the freezer bag. It will go into the freezer so I can use it with my next batch. Now I'm going to insert, I'm going to pour in the secret ingredient. All right. Now for me, it's real tempting to have a large batch of trail mix and fill this bag up and have it be one serving. But really, you can't eat that much anyway. So about a spoonful, uh, maybe a little bit more than a spoonful. That's about what you might eat on a, a hiking break at the top of a hill. Squeeze all the air out. Well, that was two spoonfuls. Of course, your spoon may be a different size. So you judge yourself what you'd like. All right, this is going to be the last one. said that you don't need a spoon with holes in it but the thing that's left at the, the stuff that's left at the bottom might be hard to see 
is all kinds of powder. And you don't need the powder in your trail mix. Powder is going to fall out onto the ground. Some bear is going to smell it. And it may come, the bear may not come and attack you, but it may come and attack the person who's camping where you are tomorrow night or the next week. And so I'm actually going to change my recommendation. Get a spoon with some slots in it and use that to serve out and leave all that powder behind. Now, I'm really tempted to taste this. I don't want you to feel bad. Hmm, this is good. It's going on my next day hike and same recipe. I'm gonna use that for my next backpacking trip. That's a um, month long trip on the Appalachian Trail this summer. Oh boy. The Bobby Sue's nuts are spicy. My taste buds are happy. And a little crunchy from the um, garbanzo beans. That works out too. So that's my favorite trail mix for now. I will be preparing some more meals. I'm doing a month-long section hike on the Appalachian Trail this summer. And of course, I do different backpacking trips. Uh, shorter ones, just one-offs here and there. And I like to have some food in the refrigerator ready to go. If there's anything you've tried that you want to share below, that'd be great. Any ideas on how to tweak my trail mix so it's a little bit better? As long as it's got M&Ms in it, I'm good. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.